Hello everyone, did you enjoy the story of the gingerbread man? I did, but it made me feel really hungry. So should we make our own gingerbread people? Here we have all the ingredients that you'll need. But first of all, you need to wash your hands and you need to set your cooker to gas mark three or four, or if it's an electric oven, 160 degrees. Now you will need a grown up to help you do all these things. But let's have a little bit of fun. So we've got our self-raising flour, which is 300 grams. You need to place that into a bowl. Then you need to add a pinch of salt, just a little bit. I think that should do it. We need to add some ground ginger. Three teaspoons. And obviously that's to give you the lovely flavour. Put a little bit more in there. That's it. Let's give that a stir. Right, for the next bit, you will need a pan. I'll just go and get one. And in the pan, you need to add two ounces or 50 grams of margarine. We need our caster sugar, which is 100 grams or four ounces, and some golden syrup. Now, you probably need about three tablespoons of golden syrup. But if you like it really soft and gooey, you can always add a little bit more. So I will, I like mine soft. Let's put a bit more in. I love golden syrup. There we are. I think that should just do it. Give it a stir. But then you need to warm it through. Keep stirring. I'll show you. Until all the ingredients have melted together. So I've taken the pan off the heat and it's all the ingredients are nicely melted. I'm going to pour those in to the dry ingredients. Make sure you get every last drop. There we are. Next, give it a stir. Be careful to keep all the ingredients in the bowl. There we are. Keep stirring. Until it starts to go really thick and starts to form a big piece of dough. It's starting to get thicker. But I might just at this point add the milk. So you need four tablespoons of milk. If you haven't, if there's not enough to start with you can always add a little bit more milk. But that should just do it. There we go. That's just to bind it all together. Let's have a look. It's already starting to smell really nice. Now, this is the fun bit. So you need to get your hands in and start pressing the dough together and kneading it into a big ball. It might take a few minutes to do this. So, but just keep going until you feel confident that it's a nice big lump of gingerbread dough. I've taken the dough out of the bowl and I've started to roll it out. You need it quite thin because it will raise slightly when it goes into the oven. I think that looks about right. So I've got some cutters. If you don't have any cutters, you can actually just use a knife and make your own gingerbread people shape. I think that's quite a nice one. Let's see how many we can do. So keep using the cutters until you've used all the dough. So I'm going to put, pop those onto a baking tray. I've used some, a baking sheet 
just to save them sticking to the bottom. But if not, if you don't have any, you can just use some margarine or butter just to go over on your tray. So I'm going to pop those onto the baking tray. Right, the gingerbread people are all ready to go into the oven, but I'll just pop some, some currants for their eyes. Now you might want to you wait until you've baked your gingerbread men and you might want to decorate them with Smarties or icing sugar. And if you do, would you send us some pictures? Because mine are going to be very plain. So I'd really, really like to see what yours look like. Let's just give some of them some eyes. Let's have a look. I think he might want a button and another one. Stick it down. Right, just get my oven glove. So they're now ready to go into the oven. You need to set your timer or use your watch uh, for about 10 15 minutes. So I'm going to pop mine in now. When they're cool, transfer them over to the cooling rack and then when they're really cool, you can decorate your gingerbread man. So I hope you enjoyed today's activity and I'll see you again soon. Bye!